लिटिल चैम्प्स वर्ल्ड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशंस जैक एंड द बीनस्टॉक वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इन अ फार अवे लैंड लिव्ड अ पुअर विडो विद देयर ओनली सन जैक इन अ कॉटेज एज वेल ऑल दे हैड एन ओल्ड काउ मिल्की वाइट व्हेन द काउ हैड ग्रोन टू ओल्ड एंड स्टॉप्ड गिविंग मिल्क द मदर सेड टू हर सन जैक टेक द काउ टू द मार्केट एंड सेल हर सो ऑफ जैक वेंट ऑन हिज वे टू द मार्केट Jack met a strange traveler. Good morning, said the traveler. That's the fine cow you have got. Where are you taking the cow? To market to sell it, Jack replied. I can buy your cow, but I have no money. All I have are five magic beans, the traveler said. These beans will grow up and up in the sky in only one night. For a while, Jack hesitated, but his curiosity accepted the beans and sold the cow. Jumping in great joy and very pleased with himself, Jack returned home. But when he handed his mother the beans, she shouted in anger, "You fool! What have you done? These beans are useless. We cannot buy food with them." Then at the height of her annoyance, she threw the beans out of the window and sent Jack to bed without any supper. The next morning, when Jack awoke, he saw an amazing sight: a green bean stalk reaching far into the clouds. It looked like a big ladder to the sky. Jack was very excited and began to climb the plant. Up and up and up. He reached the top of the stalk. Everything behind him looked very small. Jack had reached a strange beautiful land. In the distance, he saw a huge castle. I wonder who lives there. He thought and slowly crept into the castle. What are you doing here? A thundering voice asked. Seeing a huge fat woman, Jack shaken with fear replied, I am lost. The woman was a giantess. Thinking that the boy will work for her and she will have time to relax, she asked Jack to come in. Jack followed her into the castle. Fee fee fo fum. I smell the breath of a tender child. The giant shouted when he came home. Hearing his tremendous noise, Jack thought he will be finished soon. Hide quick. The woman whispered. and pushed jack into the oven a child there is no child here said the woman and asked the giant to have dinner after dinner the giant asked his wife to bring his money bags having counted again and again all the gold coins the giant fell asleep jack could see the sleeping giant and gold coins scattered on the table from his hiding spot although shivering with fear he came out of the oven filled a little bag full of gold coins ran out of the castle and quickly climbed down the beanstalk he finally reached home and placed the bag full of gold coins before his mother jack's mother burst out crying where have you been and from where did you get this treasure jack told his mother about the beanstalk and his adventure she was delighted to see his son safe and his brave deed some time later jack again climbed up the beanstalk As he entered the castle the giant began to sniff and said fee fee fo fum i smell the breath of a tender child i will eat him as my bread jack hid himself in the oven once again after dinner the giant placed a hen on the table and said lay thrice and each time the hen laid golden eggs jack was surprised to see this soon the tired giant fell asleep and jack lost no time jumped out of the oven grabbed the hen and climbed down the beanstalk he found his mother waiting for him she became happy to see jack home safely then hen laid them three golden eggs every day after a long time one evening jack set off once more on his adventure this time he saw after dinner the giant listening to the half sweet melodies this marvelous music charmed jack He waited for the giant to fall asleep. When Jack heard the giant snoring loudly, he quickly seized the harp and ran away with it. But the harp was the fairy belonging to the giant, and as Jack ran, it cried, "Master, master, wake up! A thief is taking me away!" The giant woke up slowly and rushed to chase Jack. Jack was too fast for the giant. He quickly slid down the beanstalk with giant behind him. When Jack got down to the ground he cried mother mother bring me an axe without delay 
Jack's mother rushed with the axe. I must chop down the plant before the giant gets here, said Jack to his mother, and he at once chopped down the beanstalk. The giant lost his hold and crashed to the ground, leaving a large hole in the ground. The giant died. The melodious sound of the harp delighted both the mother and the son. The hen kept on laying golden eggs. Jack and his mother became very rich and lived happily ever after and shared their wealth with poor people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay healthy. Bye bye.